Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In a previous video, we set up, installed the WP Photo Seller plugin, and everything's set up and activated here. And I put the activation code in, I did that off camera. Now what we want to do is set up the basic settings. So look for the menu WP Photo Seller on the left side near the bottom, and click on settings. And this is where you're going to specify the country that you're selling your products from. And now this is very, this is more specific if you're selling um, physical products. If you're selling prints of your photos, then this will this will matter what what country you're coming from because that determines the local international shipping costs. And then you can put in your zip or postal code. And then if you want to only sell to particular countries, you can choose yes here and then choose whatever countries that you want to sell to, and then click on save. All right. And then this is where you specify your the currency. And if you do leave it at US dollars, um, the currency symbol will default to the dollar sign. So you can just leave leave this blank if you're selling in USD or Canadian. Um, but if you choose a different currency, then put in the currency symbol here, click on save. And this setting here specifies the amount of time that the download link is available. So as you know, if you're selling digital prints, you don't have to be present to deliver the product. Um, the software handles the delivery of the product for you, um, but you can specify how long the link is available, the encrypted link is available to the customer. So it defaults at one day, 24 hours. So you can specify how many hours you want that link to be available if, if you don't find that 24 is sufficient. All right, then click on save after that change. And here's where you'd set up what pages um, there are. So there's the continue shopping page. You can just create the page um, and then that's where all your products would be and then you specify it in there. And again, a thank you page and the plugin creates these pages for you. Um, and But the one page it doesn't create is the terms and conditions. So if you decide you want one of those, choose yes here and then specify which page has your terms and conditions on it. And then click on save. And then this is for testing and debugging. All right, and the only thing besides that that would um, we can set up is the payment gateway settings. So click on that at the top, and then you decide if you want to use PayPal standard checkout, it'll be checked, and then you can put in your PayPal email address. And then scroll to the bottom and click on save. And that's really it. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.